Hi everyone, it's Alejandra, and I hope you guys are having a great start to 2012. I'm gonna do a quick video today on how to organize your shower, or some quick tips on minimizing the clutter inside your shower. Okay, so this is my shower. It's just a normal standing shower. It's not even a bathtub, it's just a shower. And normally what you see in showers is people get these shower caddies just like that one and they hang it from underneath the faucet, kind of like that. And they put all their shampoos and conditioners at the very top and like the shaving cream down there and the soap right there. And even though it's better to do that, like it's better to put stuff inside the shower caddy than have it sitting on the ledge there or the ledge there or even down here on the ground. Like, I think this is a great way to maximize your vertical space. So what really bugs me here is when you have really tall bottles that just like interfere with the faucet up here, and when the water is coming down, when you grab this and you bring it down, like the water splashes and then it splashes again when you put it back up, and when you take something down, if the weight's not evenly distributed, then this is gonna swing back and forth just like that. And it makes it super annoying. So. Although this maximizes space, I'm not really a fan of this setup. So what I've done to avoid having frustration in the shower is I've gotten a shower caddy and a hook and I've put it on the opposite end of the shower. So I literally bought a really large hook at Home Depot and I bought a regular shower caddy from, I think this is from Container Store. And I mounted the hook to the wall with anchors and a screw, and uh, two anchors and two screws. And then I just hung the shower caddy from the bottom hook down there. And now, like, I don't need to worry about the height of these bottles interfering with the faucet. And it's out of the way from the water, so there's not going to be any extra splashing. And also, what I've done here is I've placed two suction cups with that have little hooks down here. Can you see that hook? Can you see all the soap scum also? <laughs> okay, so they have those little hooks there, and there's one on that side, and there's one on this side. Here, let me go like that. Do you see how it kind of like connects? It holds this in place. So, because I added those suction cups, when I remove a heavy bottle, the shower caddy is not going to swing to side to side, right? Like the weight is all, the suction cups are holding the shower caddy in place, so this is not going to swing. I don't know if that was a good explanation or not, but you can just tell that it's not going to swing because of the two suction cups I added. Now, suction cups, some work really well, some tend to fall down. I've had these in place for like two, two and a half years, and they've never fallen down. They are from Container Store. Container Store has a really great brand of um, suction cups. I'll have to post a link. I really like this setup. It's out of the way. Um, everything is contained. There's nothing like on the on the ledge. There's nothing on this ledge. I don't have anything right here. Like this shower caddy is not normally here. I just brought this in from the other bathroom to show you guys um, like usually what people have and what you can do instead to save on your frustration levels. Okay, so that that's really the big tip of the video. But something else I have here, and this was holding the shower curtain back. Let me just untie it. You guys have seen this in my house tour video, but I'll just show you guys again in case you guys haven't seen it. Okay, so I have the shower curtain here, and then behind it, I have a shower liner that has pockets inside. Do you see that? There's like six pockets. But um, right now the pockets are empty, but what I usually keep are like bars of soap, or I have a mini brush in here. It's also great for kids' toys if you're a mom, or anything that... Anything that's small that you don't want to keep cluttering up your shower, you can just put it inside this shower curtain. And this is actually a shower curtain, but I just use it as a liner. I'll put a link to where you can get it in, on the bottom of the video. I hope that was helpful. I will post links to some of the products I just showed you below this video in the description. And um, if you like what you saw, then you are welcome to do the same thing inside your own shower. I will see you guys soon. Bye.